one of the special things about the headdress is the color blue. Um, and I was so surprised when I was told that the blue color came from um, kingfisher feather and it's not pigmented, it's optical, just like the blue sky. Nobody painted blue sky. And also we learned in the 19th century and 18th century, there was a vogue for kingfisher feather jewelry. So the sad result is dwindling kingfisher population. This kind of headdress, I believe, was part of the dowry that an emperor would give to his bride. Unlike commoner households where the parents give the dowry, in this case, actually, it was the emperor who chose what would be the dowry gifts for his wife. And he'd choose headdresses like this. And also, it's kind of like what you would wear for a really dressy cocktail party. Mm. So it's not that formal level of the black tie or the top tier dinner, but that next where you want to look really sophisticated, really beautiful. And think how alluring mm. you would be wearing this, because every time you take a step, the phoenix move. They're attached to the headdress by a pliable wire. So they jiggle a little bit. And so do the pearls hanging down over your forehead. 